Number 16, unreasonable results. A mountain stream is 10 meters wide and averages 2 meters in depth. During the spring runoff, the flow in the stream reaches 100,000 cubic meters per second. Uh, what is the average velocity of the stream under these conditions? All right, so for letter A, um, we are given a volume flow rate, that is Q, right? We are told the dimensions of the stream, so that's probably going to tell us the cross-sectional area of the stream, and we're asked to find the velocity, so fairly straightforward, right? This equation over here on the right side should fit the bill. So this is equal, so volume flow rate is equal to area multiplied by the average velocity. To find average velocity, divide out the area from both sides. So now we have the volume flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area. And now let's expand on this slightly, right? They told us the Q value in the units we already need. And uh, the area is, now this is a rectangle. So we know that this will be length times width. Please don't plug in pi r squared, even though, right, that's what we're used to using. Uh, it all depends on the nature of the, you know, uh, container that the fluid is flowing in. So Q, they told us was 100,000 100, and the length times width. So this is now 10 multiplied by 2, whatever. I know I'm not plugging in the sig figs there. I'll try to take it into account at the end. And there's no guarantees. So this is 100,000 divided by 20, essentially. And we get 5,000, right? So this is now 5,000 5, meters per second. So that is the flow of the water. What's the problem? Uh, so letter B says, what's unreasonable about this? So letter B, consider that the average velocity of your car on a highway uh, is about 25 to 30 meters per second. All right, let's use the value of 30. doesn't matter. Okay, this is how fast you're driving on the highway, roughly on average. Well, if you're obeying the speed limit, let's at least, uh, at least consider that that's the assumption I'm choosing here. So now if I were to want to find out how many times faster, you know, this is than you driving your car on the highway. We would just have to take the 5,000, right? Divide it now by 30. And we would come up with a value of about 167, right? 167. So take how fast you're driving on the highway and pretend that your speed were now 167 times faster than that speed. And that would be the rate at which this, you know, spring runoff is flowing. Doesn't make much sense to me. So what's unreasonable? Um, you know, anything that's going to then reduce, right, this cannot be that high. So if I'm thinking about this formulaically, I know this has to be lower. Now, if this on the left-hand side has to be lower, then I want to think about what does Q have to be in order to make this result lower? Well, Q, since it lives in the numerator, has to be lower itself. So either the volume flow rate is wrong, it's not as great, or I could also say the denominator values can go up, right? If these denominator values go up, then V will go down because they're inversely related here. So then that means that the cross-sectional area should have been greater. Maybe it's deeper. Right? Maybe it's wider. I don't know what it is, but it's one of those. Okay, so those would be the what's unreasonable or inconsistent. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time.